daddy's keepsake, sir. <laughs> Loads of food. Ah, gee. Look, what, look, what? look what? at us. What? Here's one. Look. No, no. Us as kids, huh? Yeah, no, no, not us, me. Oh, yeah. It's just me there. You know, father despised you. You keep uh, forgetting. The crack we had in them days, didn't nah. we, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was it that uh, father used to say to me now? Um, you're no son of mine, you bastard. Ah, the good old days. Well, but some <laughs> memories are best forgotten. Huh? Uh, but when you've been through what Ivor Brownstein from Muffberg in Austria had been through, it's hard to forget. Ivor had lived in Muffberg after escaping the Germans in 1944. Yeah. In 1984, she was delighted to be involved in the unveiling of a new memorial for those lost in the Second World War. As part of the ceremony, she presented the mayor with her beloved tapestry that she created during her four-year incarceration in a German prison camp. Harsh days indeed, huh? What the hell would you know about it? Huh? Whilst me and Daddy were out in the trenches, you were at home pissing your pants. Excuse me? You were only four yourself during the war? I was advanced for me years, always have been. Bah. Now, Iva was delighted when the mayor gave her tapestry pride of place in the town hall. The memories of the camp still haunted her to that day. Uh, the friends she had lost and the brutality of her Nazi captors. And you're this! Shoot her. But one thing that kept her sane was working on her tapestry. Oh, Jesus. If there's one thing I hate, it's arts and feckin' crafts. Especially those bastard string pictures where you wind the string around their nails to make something like a feckin' boat or a sunset or something. One thing to say to you. Huh. One more interruption. Your face, my deep fat fryer. Jeez, I was only saying... Ah, you were only saying shite, you Thick on. Now listen up, you might learn something. As Ivy gazed up at the tapestry, she remembered the day that she organised the breakout. It took months of careful planning, but she managed to save a number of lives, all thanks to her handiwork. months later, an old woman was driving through Muffberg when her car broke down outside the town hall. She wandered in looking for some assistance, but she nearly keeled over with shock at what she saw in front of her. Uh, town hall cafe menu, ham and cheese panini, five euro sixty cent. The thieving bastards, huh? No, you gobsheen. It was the tapestry. She recognised the tapestry. Oh, why didn't you say tapestry? She explained that the last time she had seen it was the night she and her pals had escaped from their Nazi prison camp in 1944. She wondered how it came to be hanging here in Muffberg and was delighted to hear that Mrs. Ivor Brownstein herself had recently presented it to the town. A clerk looked up the registry and found Ivor's home address and handed it to the emotional old one who said she never thought in a million years she would see her old friend again. Right, is this going anywhere? Because if I wanted to hear maudlin shite like this, I would read Marion Keys. Later that evening, <gasps> Ivor heard a knock on the door. Huh? It was a bit late for callers, but she answered anyway. As she opened the door, she couldn't believe her eyes as Ivor looked upon a face that she hadn't seen for 40 years. Oh. And despite the years that had passed, it was a face that would remain etched on her mind forever. Can you not just hug and get it over with? Ivor wasn't quite prepared for the cold steel blade that was plunged straight through her heart. Jesus, what in the name of Ryan Tuberty's bulbous eyes is going on? Why would her friend stab her in the heart? She wasn't her friend at all. There before Ivor stood Commandant Bitch Slap, the tyrannical governor of the prison camp. 
Well, well, inmate 7625. I told you, there was no escape. <laughs> oh, biatch! <laughs> Talk to the blade, because the face ain't listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, would you look what I'm after finding, well, well, well. Father's medal from the war. Oh, something to be proud of. Would you... Oh, look at this. What, what, would what? you look? Oh. There you are. Oh. That's what we're after, huh? Oh. <laughs> ah, mine, Papa. Oh, okay. With his old work colleagues. Oh, yeah. God, he was a devil for the war crimes. <laughs> that he was. Uh, devil. That he was. Oh, yeah. Beginnen, you'll not have fine, just right to give in.